There's granddad like to eat? Chips! What sort of chips? Uh, Tristies. <laughs> Tristies, he loves his chips, doesn't he? And cereal porridge. Happy 50th birthday, Dad. Uh, been a long, hard road last few years to get to here, but we've made it. You've done well, and I wish you all the best. And I just wanted to say to you, thanks for moving us over to Australia. One of the best moves you could have made for us, and yeah, I love you. Happy birthday, Dad. Um, happy 50th. I'm so glad that I'm here sharing this very special day with you. I'm so happy for you, and thank you for everything you've done for me. Kia ora kutu. Kia tomo moi. I can't wait to have one of these with you. William John McLaughlin was born in County Derry on February 12, 1958. John grew up in a farmhouse at 88 Donny Brewer Road, Willsborough, Campsie, with his mother Lily, father William, and sister Bridget. John attended the Broadbridge Primary School and St Mary's Secondary School, and was in the local paper for having 10 years of unbroken school attendance. In 1974, after John finished school, he pursued a career in bricklaying and a couple of years into the apprenticeship, John and five of his mates decided to move to Cork where the money was better. When they arrived in Cork, the five of them lived in a small flat together, sharing beds and lying in each other's smelly socks. When they went to find work, no one wanted to take on third year apprentices, so John told them he had finished his apprenticeship but the papers were back in Derry and away he went. In 1977, John met Margaret Hickey and one year later married Margaret and had the birth of his first daughter, Elaine Mary, with Sean to follow in March 1980. John worked in Cork for the next few years and during the mid-80s decided that migrating to Australia was the best move for his young family. On March 5th, 1988, John and his family moved to Geelong, found a job and one year later bought his first home. A couple of years later, John and Margaret divorced and John went back to Ireland for one year. John returned to Australia and met Louise Holden a few years later and have been together ever since. In March 2000, John and Louise travelled to Europe and spent the best part of a year in Ireland. Followed by a month in Thailand before returning home to Melbourne. On Easter Sunday 2003, John's first grandchild was born, Manaya Rose Unikawa. And six weeks later, on May 28th, Dad suffered a stroke. In the last five years, Dad has faced some of the worst and yet best times in his life. On May 28th in 2003, only five weeks after Manaya, his granddaughter was born and busy planning his wedding with Louise, he suffered a grade five brain aneurysm, which has left him a quadriplegic. Dad has faced so many setbacks and complications along the way as he went back and forth to hospital and rehabilitation. He fought hard to be where he is today and Dad is now happily married and at home with Louise. Throughout Dad's time in hospital and rehab, he has made so many friends. He's made doctors laugh, nurses laugh, invited everybody to his wedding. So in particular, he's had really good carers, Asha, Barbara and Louise. They really care for him and make him comfortable and we really appreciate their help and they really are a part of the family. 
A few highlights over the last five years was Dad and Louise's wedding. They were married on February 26th in 2005 at Bridey O'Reilly's. In that same year, on December 10th, he gave me away in marriage to Hemi. Then in June 2006, thanks to the Welfare Bureau, the Irish community, family and friends, there was a benefit day at the Celtic Club and we raised $50,000 in funds. That money went to a wheelchair accessible vehicle. Dad has come so far in these last five years. We've all grown together, we've cried, we've laughed, but the one person that stands out from anybody else, and that's Louise, for the unconditional love, the unconditional support, and for someone to always talk to.